joy and relief that usually accompany the release of an American POW are being overshadowed tonight by criticism of the deal that won his freedom and questions about how he was captured in the first place. 28-year-old Army Sergeant Bo Bergdahl is in a U.S. military hospital in Germany tonight. The Taliban released him over the weekend in exchange for five terror suspects held at Guantanamo. David Martin begins our coverage. Sergeant Bo Bergdahl is listed in stable condition and for the moment is isolated from the controversy surrounding his release. Among other things, he is suffering from five years of a prisoner's diet. But his biggest problem may be the reception waiting for him in the U.S. Former members of his unit have taken to the airwaves and social media, calling him a deserter and alleging other soldiers were actually killed searching for him. Josh Quarter, a former sergeant in Bergdahl's unit, has the names of those soldiers tattooed on his body. He spoke with CNN. They were never nationally televised uh, for their sacrifices in the way that he is, and he pretty much voluntarily walked away and in turn caused uh, you know, the actions that may have killed them. Bergdahl allegedly sneaked away from his outpost after his early morning shift on guard duty, leaving his weapon and body armor behind. As for why he did it, there were conflicting reports. He wanted to walk across Afghanistan, make friends in the local community, or even fight for the Taliban. Bergdahl has not been charged with anything and actually received two promotions during his five years in captivity. But a Pentagon official described him as at worst a deserter, at best a stupid kid who caused us to expend great energy and resources to bring him home. This official said many in the military think Bergdahl should be court-martialed, while others argue five years in captivity is punishment enough. Bergdahl could return to the U.S. as early as the end of this week, at which point he would be reunited with his family and eventually get a chance to tell what no one has yet heard, his side of the story. David Martin at the Pentagon, thank you.